Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we have got probably my favorite video I've ever done. The Sarajevo Noise Beat Tier List. Whew, I mean, I've been a fan of their stuff ever since they released. Uh, they've been a big part of the channel with, I think I was probably the first person to react to their content. I think so, maybe not, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, their stuff is iconic, legendary, and uh, we are here to break down uh, all of the albums, all the projects, everything from them, including the sort of uh, the, the reissues uh, to talk about each thing. So put it in a tearless format as always. So uh, let's start with uh, where it all began with uh, Focus on the Future, the debut project from Sarah Ava Noisby. And uh, this one, I mean, it's iconic. Uh, it's, it's hard to really top an original when you've mastered something so uh, so cleanly on the first round. It's like, I don't even know how to, you can't really capture the magic a second time around and, and they might've managed to and the third and if, yeah, yeah, well, we'll get to that. But, um, I mean, how can you not love David Davis? Like the single, the, the track of the album, I say personally, personally, I really like David Davis, the, the icon that was the political figure of the past or whatever. Uh, David Davis, just, just amazing. Um, and also that that feature, the feature of the the my the my wife left me feature on uh, WTCID. I mean, and all the talk about Big Chungus and how much he played a role in the track. And oh, that one's uh, I'm gonna say you know easy easy S tier for me personally, easy S tier. So we're gonna put that one in S. Uh, and then my goodness, they followed it up. Uh, how can you even follow it up with Focus on the Future, the Ultra Bosnian edition? Man, so clean. How? Like you can't forget about the 35% less funny remix. Like, like brilliance to, to go make a song and make it 35% less funny. Like it just makes it more funny. It's like an oxymoron, it's a paradox. I don't even know how to talk about it. It's just, oh, and don't even get me started on the 11 and a half minute masterpiece. That is, it's not mine, the farm remix. Like. Like it, it takes you on a real musical journey. That's something I've I've never really experienced before in in music. And so, I think overall we're gonna have to give this one. I think another S. I think we're gonna have to put this one in S. Uh, so we'll, we'll leave it there for now. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll change it in the past. But uh, and then the second full length album we had, uh, the Doomed from the Start. I mean, um, now that you got Drake on this, so much more, so prominent on this album. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Hotline Bling, like. Hotline Bling, how can you not? How can you not even talk about this? Miles better than the original, and they had Drake on the record uh, and still managed to one-up him and get him on the feature. Like, I'm not even sure how that's possible or how he even agreed to it, but um, brilliance on their part, on their part. And, uh, you know, speaking of taking originals, making them better, Leroy Jenkins, no one's heard of the original, no one knows that meme, it's just a random name out of nowhere. Uh, way to take that name and make it something even more uh, legendary than, uh, than, than what was the original. But, uh, yeah. And the last thing I want to talk about is, uh, there's a certain feature on this album. There's a certain, uh, someone that appears in the album. Uh, it's Hoxie. How can we not forget about, we, we can't, we can't forget about the Hoxie feature on Midnight Rider. The first half of the song, you know, okay. And then it hops into the second half, which is like absolutely mind blowing, amazing. We're going to put this one in S that's gotta be S again, S again. So, uh, but then they managed to another time make it even better level up go the next the next step in evolution with doomed till the end the reissue uh, reissue on the back end and and you thought hoxie's feature was good well this time you got king cobra and king cobra remixed the already iconic hotline bling and it was just a, a masterpiece waiting to happen and yeah and all of that did come to a culmination in the final short, even though it's a little short, I thought, just a, a, a tad short, uh, the, the next song, the final track of the album, uh, which was a fantastic closer that kind of wrapped the whole project together in one um, cohesive kind of final unit that I thought. So that was great. We're gonna have to put this one, yeah, we'll put, we'll put an S, I think. We'll put an S. Uh, and then finally, uh, the one that just came out uh, recently that I just did a live stream uh, listening party to, which we had um, thousands of people watching, and it was it was just an event, I think, in, in history here on Bowtide. But um, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. The third kind of full-length project, uh, the third kind of original full-length project from Sarah Ava Noisby. Uh, I must say that the highlights for this one for me, uh, probably the, you know, the the murder plot uh, on the, this was uh, Smeeborf's tune. 
and how how dark and twisted it was in the end and how it kind of left you hanging but also wondering of did that did that really just happen um and you're not sure but you think you are but you're not sure uh and then i mean drake's back Drake's back. Drake 2? How can you not love Drake back on the project? Uh, we're going to have to give this one... Uh, yeah, I'm going to say S. I'm going to say S tier.